I've never worked for the railways. I've always been, since as a childhood, I, I went to school by train. I've been interested in, I was, in the days when um, seven-year-olds don't do this now, but I was, I was seven years old and I was sent off to the station to catch the train to go to school. Um, uh, and um, so we used to, uh, <coughs> as a child, you, you, you'd ask the guard, could we travel in the guard's van? And some of the guards would say yes. Uh, and it was a sort of a, a treat. Um, so that's, uh, that's how I got interested in it originally, I suppose. I like the challenge of visiting unusual places. And um, train travel special because, especially if you've got a... a, a the, the stations when the railways were constructed were built as, uh, at a correct distance for horses and carts to carry freight from the train station to farms and houses. And so the stations generally are separated by what's sensible for a horse and cart journey. And as a result of that, if the stations haven't, uh, if the original stations are all still there, You've also got the opportunity to do interesting country walks uh, from between them, uh, and uh, I, I like the atmosphere of the station. Uh, you, uh, the old-fashioned station where you'd have a booking clerk and a waiting room and a fire in the waiting room. Um, uh, it was a welcoming place. Um, uh, I remember turning up. I walked once from, a, if this is the south of here, going down the Howell Line, I walked once from Dunstland Cross Station to Hull Station. In other words, from the Bude Line onto the Howell Torrington Line. It was a day out on a Saturday from Exeter. And when I got to Hull Station, the, the, the station had a station staff, and only, only two trains each way a day. Um, and um, the man who ran the station uh, and looked after the signals said, oh, come in, you're the first person we've seen for a fortnight, the first passenger for, for a fortnight, come in and have a cup of tea. And then the train would arrive a bit later, this was a little diesel rail car with nobody on it, and um, the, the staff get off the train and they came in and had a cup of tea as well. And then after that we got on, the, because the timings were, they they. It was diesel train and it was in steam timetable still. They hadn't altered the timetable. Um, and then I, 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 we went back to Halworth and then I went back from Halworth to Exeter. Um, but uh, there were other stations like Hull that had very, very minimum use because they were in the middle of nowhere. And the reason they were put there was because it was uh, constructed for the agricultural deliveries by horse and cart. The smell. Um, horse hair slightly rotten in the seats um, and uh, the smell of the steam and the coal smoke I suppose the, and the smuts coming in through the windows of the carriages and then getting in your eye if you looked out the sound of sp actually you don't notice it so much now because of the work welded track but in the days when all the tracks were jointed um, you could sense the speed from the uh, sound of the carriage wheels going over the track. Um, there's little bits of jointed track still around. I mean, it's some near Umberley at the moment, for instance, but um, I, it's it, not not very much of that now. Um, so that was a, a bit, that that sound was quite universal. The sound of the track joints. But can you describe that sound? When it's sort of da dum da dum, a lot of it. <laughs> <laughs>